that I've been saying this whole time that we're in Cornwall. We're not in Cornwall. We're in Devon. Hi guys, we're here today in Winking Cornwall, which of course is famous for the chicken. Oh, this is my poppy accessory. <laughs> Going there and getting some food. Double the caffeine, double the anxiety. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you. This is the stuff. It's like a little crochet bucket hat thing. What are those? <laughs> Look at your winking prom shirt. <laughs> do you regret that you didn't take a syrup? Because I do. Wow. Look at the, all that beauty. And the sun has welcomed us. I'm so excited. It's blue skies. Well, cheers, my love. Fabulous little trip we had. Hello, and welcome back to a new vlog. This one is going to be so fun and to be honest is like one of the reasons i wanted to do youtube i love capturing kind of like travel adventures and watching travel vlogs it's such a great way of like escapism especially after the year that we've had so we've done the cotswolds it's really fun and this week we are going down to cornwall way near the jurassic coast kind of where i don't know how to pronounce it salcombe is that how you would pronounce it salcombe salcombe I'm not too sure, but that's where we're going. Yes, yeah, so we're doing a pit stop in Somerset, which I'm really looking forward to. I've seen such amazing things about Somerset. So I think the hope and the plan is to have a look at maybe a bakery, get a coffee, get something uh, yummy to eat, have a little wander around the high street, and then go to the farm shop, because me and Adam are old and we love a farm shop. So might see if they have any nice rum, for you and a nice wine for me and we can maybe buy and bring it back because we are um, going to be staying in an Airbnb so it'd be nice to have a few like drinks and stuff there uh, so it might be that might be quite a good idea to pick some stuff up we've taken this little angel here who is fast asleep she's such a perfect companion like little travel companion she's just amazing so she's just having a little nappy nap but yeah i'm not gonna update you too much i'd rather just show you when it's actually happening but yeah i'm really excited are you looking forward to it oh yes no more work for a few days I just gonna sing. sit back and relax and maybe have a rum and go to salcom if that's how it's pronounced and maybe a farm shop or two and just do nothing for days. <laughs> what, what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, it depends on the weather's like. Like if it's yeah. if it's good weather, then uh, I'm gonna go out to the beach and to get on the sand, go in the sea, go swimming with my doggy. Uh, and if the weather's not good, then uh, then I don't care. I don't. I don't. Then I'll just stay in my room all day. Is that nice, baby girl. Little puppuccino action. There you go. Aww. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank okay, you, you too. Thank you so much. This is this Dursleyde farm shop? Yeah. Yeah, and look how lovely it is. You've got really good with the weather as well. It's just stunning. It's kind of like a, a farm shop bar and grill as well as a bit of an art gallery. Really cool place to stop on your way to Bruton. Really love it. If I knew, we would have had lunch here because the bar and grill looks amazing. You would have just seen it. But we're gonna go and have a little nose inside.
that was such a nice little stop if you're into kind of um farm shoppy foods and art and just a place like a nice quiet place to like sit and relax absolutely recommend that place the bar and grill looks really good almost wish we'll see how this pub goes but i do kind of wish that we booked there it looks really nice because it's warm they do coffees and everything there so it does seem like a nice place to like spend a morning or something but i am hungry and our pub is about a half hour drive so very much looking forward to going there and getting some food she's honestly so excited to see you guys even the bark was like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> So we ended up going to bed quite uh, early last night. But now we're heading um, down to Salcom. I really don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, so I don't know. Um, where we're staying though is so rural, so remote, everywhere looks deserted, which is so beautiful. Um, and where we're gonna go, we're hoping just to find a car park and maybe grab a coffee, walk down the coast to one of the beaches and just chill. That's the plan. I have forgotten my sun cream though. Uh oh. Oops, don't worry about that. Also, I didn't forget my sun hat. Let me show you this. Okay, I'm not doing this justice, but it's really freaking cute. And it is so easy to pack because it folds away and you can shape it how you want to shape it. It's like a little crochet bucket hat thing. Do you think that's just going to be so fab for beach times? Um, It will give you a major hat here. But yeah, that'll be good. I don't know how much I'm gonna pick up the camera. I think it might be just a bit more montage, B-roll vibes. Cause I just wanna be in it, you know, enjoying it. in my eyes. It's so busy down here but it's really nice. We couldn't have locked out more with the weather. So feeling 
yarn chuffed about that. I think we're just going to have a little walk around the coast and see what we can see. And then head to, is it North Sands? Mm -hmm. I think it's North Sands. What, what were you going to rate your coffee out of 10? Seven and a half because they didn't do the milk frothing. Mm. So seven and a half. I do. Seven and a half. Do you regret that you didn't take a syrup? Because I do. Did you take what? A syrup. Mm. Mm. I'm not a sweet coffee kind of person. I think there might be sugar in here already. Do you, do you have like, a syrup? No. But I feel like we should have. I feel like it has some sort of syrup. Well, caramel syrup wouldn't hurt. Guys, we're here today in Winking Crawl, which of course is famous for the chicken, because I'll be having the chicken baguette. What's it? Cajun chicken? Cajun chicken baguette. It's a Winking Crawl fries. You look like you've got a bit of sun. Yes, I have. The sun is out and it's been beaming down on me. Uh, I haven't put out any suntan lotion on because... Uh, Safety first. Because I'm not, I'm not a very safe person. Do we want water, everyone? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got the Got candid it. idea. What are we having Bingo. for? Are you having just water? Bingo. We should definitely just get tap water for sure. I'm getting cider soon. But, so fuck you. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I was it's like, their get me cider. The it's their local. They made it here. Wow. Their cider here. That's so I'm like, it would be rude. Not yeah, to try mate, do it. Absolutely. So. Live your truth. Live because your winking prawn truth. <laughs> do I want? Do I want to die? Do I want to die cold?
we are day two of our trip and look at the hay fever that eye does not look happy with me i'm obviously allergic to everything so my hay fever is doing things but i've taken two tablets like i've double dosed so i'm hoping i'm going to be okay uh, the weather is like a bit cloudier today but yesterday we just got ridiculously lucky with the weather so i'm really going to be chuffed to be honest with any weather that we get today um but the plan i think is to go to plymouth but we'll see because it might be a case of we get there we see and we're like hmm let's go somewhere else um let me show you what i'm wearing today as well because this dress is from warehouse and i just love it and it's like a reversible one so you can wear this is the um the right way but you can also wear it backwards because it's like a tie knot so the lighting might be doing me dirty here i don't know if you can even see it oh better okay so this is the warehouse dress i was talking about it's a really nice like check print in a burgundy and a beige and it's full length on me midi on anyone else and you've got this puff sleeve and square neckline and you could probably wear it off the shoulder as well if you wanted to i'll probably keep my shoulders up depending on the weather wise and then you've also got i don't know if you can see you've got like a bow in the back and that can also be worn at the front so very cute gone for a bit of a change of plan we think the weather might be a bit not measurable but a bit drizzly tomorrow so we thought it actually might be best to do any of the beachy seaside towns today that we want um, because it'll be difficult so I think now we're actually gonna head to Dartmouth um, Harbour have an explore right there there's also a really nice little town I'm sorry if I'm butchering all the names called Totnes, I think, and then maybe we're gonna try and see if we can sneak up to Torquay as well and kind of hit a couple of different um, spots on the way. So that is the plan that's kind of been changed. We just really thought about it and we're like, actually, we really want to see this place. We might as well make the most of the good weather that we're gonna have today and schedule that in. It's just so hard when you've got so much places you want to see it's so hard to make sure that you're actually hitting the spots on the right day. I'm sorry if this uh, makes you feel a bit sick. And <laughs> the roads right here are so windy. Hello. Hello there. Where are we? What have we just done? We just got to Dartmouth and we have come along to, what's the place called again? Woodrose coffee? Woodrost. Woodrosters, I think. Woodrose coffee. We've uh, got a couple of lattes and uh, I'm telling you, this is the stuff. Mm. This is the stuff. This is the real deal. You know what I mean? Very good. Right. Cheers. Ooh, delicious. Do you want to give an outfit of the day? Uh, absolutely, yes. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think this is all since that I got in that thing that we did together. Twirl. Um, it's all in, all, the, all of it's in the back. Yeah, that's right. Um, I didn't feel like it needed ironing because I'm lazy. And then these shorts, I think, are all saints that I got at Bristol Village. You know? Hey, all saints. Coupled with the Nike kind of maroon trainers, it's a look. It is a look. And what about the shades? The shades are Ray Ban because um, Ray Ban just scream quality, don't they? <laughs> what about this baby? Where'd you get her from? Oh, this is my puppy accessory. <laughs> and I got her from uh, Bolton. And she's Aww. beautiful. Okay, Chloe, darling, walk us through the outfit today. So I also have the classic... No, no, I can't hear you. I can't hear you wait until the loud truck has passed. So I also have these Ray-Ban sunnies, classic white feathers. Love them. Always going to be in style. Okay, okay. Uh, then... Volume up a bit, volume up. And then I also got this new warehouse dress. I absolutely love it. It's reversible. I think I talked about it a bit earlier. And then I'm wearing it with my Birkenstocks and classic sock combination. 
because um, what are those? <laughs> they are those. What are those? They're my sandals. Because I ripped my feet on my new Tevas. Te te Tevas? Tevas? I don't know. So I'm having to literally represent the Birkenstocks and sandals today. Yeah. And then I also have my Boebi basket bag. What a vibe. What a vibe. It's so baby. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. Wow. Wow. Look at the, all that beauty. Do you prefer Evie? Would you like a taste of the plain croissant or the almond one? It's the almond. It's delicious, isn't it? I know. I'm asking what she would like. She doesn't necessarily mean that you get. Is it Angel? Evie, <gasps> pretty girl. Day three, and I've just realized that I've been saying I was talking to my friends last night when we were all playing games, it was a really good night. Um, but I've been saying this whole time that we're in Cornwall, we're not in Cornwall, we're in Devon. I have no idea why. I thought I think I just presumed Devon was a bit more central, and this entire bit is Cornwall, but I got it wrong. So, this is a Devon vlog, not. Cornwall vlog. I'm not good with geography. But again, sorry for this shaky tripod arm. The roads here are mental. Um, today is meant to be more like drizzly rainy, but I hold hope that it's actually gonna be quite bright and warm. It's very warm, so I actually think it's gonna be an okay day. We have got like some jumpers and things on, so I've got my Suzanne knit on. And my lipstick that I've been wearing all weekend, which I've been loving, is the Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect Lipstick and then the MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner. I think it's a really nice combo. But yeah, today I am very excited. We've just been having literally the best time here. It's just so beautiful. So today's our last full day and then we travel back tomorrow. We've got to check out quite early. We check out at like 10. But today we're gonna go look around South Milton Sands and then we are gonna have maybe like a nice National Trust walk and then we're gonna go over to Hope Cove. So yeah, I think it's gonna be really good. I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. You looking forward to it? Oh, so much. <laughs> I don't know why, every time I put Adam on the camera, you like do this new personality or he'll sing or he'll do some kind of performance. So. I don't know what you're talking about.
we've just rocked up to the Milton Sands like National Trust car park basically and the sun has welcomed us I'm so excited it's blue skies we've just seen in the last clip and we're just waiting for Sam and Andy and then we're gonna head out on our coastal walk along the beach and it's gonna be blue skies sunshine warm I must admit our little angel down here is a very sleepy puppy aren't you darling oh you're yeah, acting up on the camera sorry you're not sleepy at all but uh, yeah see you on the beach bye I'm tired I need a coffee you're very tired we need to go get a coffee ASAP in the car once more and look at me in my blazer and dress once more 
I'm going to try and link all the dresses I wore on this trip because I just feel like if you're going away and you're not too sure what the weather's going to be, I feel like a dress and a blazer is like the perfect combination because it helps no matter what weather you've got. And if you bring a pair of trainers, sandals and boots, you're perfect with the whole time. So I'm going to try and link those. They've been so good, so practical and really light to kind of pack. But sadly, this is the end of our Devon vlog. It's just been so incredible and we felt so lucky with the weather. Although it's British sunshine, I feel like, I don't know what it is this year. Britain's just decided no, no to summer. But we managed to secure this like pocket of, we had an amazing day the first day we arrived and then the other two days were meant to be rain and it was just bright and like patches of sun so we've actually been really lucky because now it's just gonna be raining for like the next week so we've been really lucky with the timing it's been just such an incredible trip and we will 100 percent be coming back it's just yeah did, did you enjoy um devon yeah it was all right yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah of course it was good yeah, it was really amazing. We had the best time with our friends. Yeah, and little Evie just had the most amazing time. She's just so good at traveling. We feel so lucky. Thank God that we have a good dog for traveling because it's something that we're passionate about and we love to do. So I'm just so happy, Evie, that you had an amazing holiday. Evie. Sorry for my dogman voice. Evie, did you have a good holiday? <laughs> She's so cute. But yeah. If you, I've saved all of the locations and everything over on Instagram. So if you head over to Instagram, I've created a highlight that says Devon. And that'll have all the location tags and everything that we've been to, including some of the stops on the way here. Yeah, it was just been an incredible time, hasn't it? It's been incredible. I just loved it. Incredible.